And the last letter in race car, the R, stands for the word reminders. Reminders. <coughs> and this is one of the most overlooked skills that I think every great point guard, every great leader possesses. If you give reminders, your teammates will play better. At any given point in a game or in a practice, there are at least 20 to 30 things that you could say that would make your teammates play better. Number 12 is a shooter. Make sure you get a hand up. Make sure you block him out. He's a good rebounder. Don't forget you can run the baseline. Remember, we don't have any timeouts left. Make sure you touch the line. Remember, the screen is supposed to be set over here. At any given point, there's about 20 to 30 things that you could say that would make your teammates play better. If you give reminders, your teammates will play better. And a lot of players like to say, well, Coach D, that's just really not my style. I mean, I'm not really that kind of a vocal leader. I prefer to lead by example. Well, if the only way you lead is by example, then you are a very poor leader. Let me say that one more time. If the only way you lead is by example, then you are a very poor leader. Because we just said at any given point, there's a whole bunch of things that you could say that would make your teammates play better. If you're not saying those things, you're a very poor leader. I don't care what you do with your example. If the only way you lead is by example, you're a very poor leader. You know, just about every point guard knows the things that need to happen in order for their team to be successful. But very few of those point guards make it a habit of giving their teammates reminders about those things throughout a practice and throughout a game. But here's the key thing to remember about reminders. Let's say that Caroline and I are teammates. And let's say Caroline's guarding, let's say it's one of those end of the game, crunch time, game is on the line situations, and we're on defense and we need to get a stop. And let's say Caroline is guarding the other team's best three-point shooter. And let's say Caroline lets that girl come off of a screen and she gets a wide open three-point shot and she nails it. Well, if running back down the court, I look at Caroline and I say, Caroline, she's a shooter. Get a hand up. Well, did that reminder have any impact on the play that just happened? No, none at all. In fact, that's not an example of leading. That's an example of complaining about something after the fact. Good point guards are able to recognize a situation before it happens and give a reminder before it's too late. A good point guard in that same situation before that play even started would have recognized that we need to stop here. And they would have recognized that Caroline is guarding the other team's best shooter and we can't afford to let that, guy, let that girl come off the screen and get an open look. So a good point guard before that play even starts would have looked Caroline in the eye and said, Caroline, she's a shooter. Get a hand up. Now that reminder has a pretty good chance to significantly impact the play that's about to happen. If you're going to be a special point guard, you got to do better than tell your teammates what they should have done. You got to tell your teammates what they're going to need to do. Good point guards make it a habit of recognizing a situation before it happens and giving a reminder before it's too late. 